everyone, long time no see. Today I'm just going to do like a video on my haul which I did in USA. Now I just came back from USA yesterday, so or actually this morning, like very early, like about 1 a.m. or something. So I'm still pretty <laughs> jet lagged from the long flight. Now I went to um, Oregon, I went to a small city in Oregon called Eugene. Now, um, it's not like a big city, big city kind of um, city that has a lot of um, shopping malls, a lot of like skyscrapers. It's just like a really small university city or town. So, ideally, it's not really a place where people would go if they like to shop a lot. It's more like if you are a person who like to you know, go on road trips or you like to ride your bike around, around or you like like mountains and stuff then that is the place for you but if you are a person who likes to shop around then um, Eugene in Oregon isn't a very good place to go probably Seattle would be a better place because it's a big city so I actually went there because my husband's there for work so he wanted me to accompany him so which I did and of course I went there I had quite a bit of fun and I also did some shopping there was a Sephora there but it's not like a stand alone Sephora store, it's a Sephora in JCPenney. So the Sephora that I wear is actually a Sephora in a JCPenney department store. So um, it did a bit of damage but I think it was okay because I haven't been shopping around much lately so I mean it's justifiable. So just let me start off with um, the Sephora haul. I think there was a Target in Eugene which I also went there and bought some stuff but I'm going to show that in another video. So I'm just going to show you like the stuff that I bought in the Sephora in JCPenney. So um, just a whole video. So um, I just like in my previous Sephora haul which I did when I was in Hawaii, I basically went for stuff that I not usually found in Singapore. So these are stuff that are exclusive to you know, the United States. So the first thing that I picked up, which probably is only can be found in the Sephora JC Penny store, is this um, Sephora um, Makeup Must Have Beauty Essentials that is only exclusive to like Sephora and JC Penny. So this kit is really value for money. Now, I wanted this kit because of this over here, which is a NARS Orgasm blush. And this is a full-size blush that is retailing by itself $35. This whole kit costs $39, and you are getting a full-size $35 blush. So the rest of the items, not inclusive of this blush, is actually just $4 which I thought was pretty good deal and it, and it says the retail value is um, 145 which I believe because besides the NARS blush, the Smashbox BB cream, the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow and also the Stila um, waterproof liquid eyeliner, they are actually full size so you basically get a couple of full size stuff, you get the NARS one, this one and this one which is a full size. So basically, I'm not going to open this because you can see everything is this picture. You get a mini bite lipstick in the color um, Palomino. You get a smash box um, camera ready BB cream in um, color light. This is a full size. You get an Urban Decay eyeshadow in Sane, which is a full size. You get a Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Test Black. And of course the NAS orgasm as well as a benefit um what do you call benefit they are real mascara in jet black. So I'm really happy that I picked this one up because I wanted to try I wanted the NAS orgasm blush and I definitely want to try the um the their real mascara and also the Stila eyeliner which I think can replace my current eyeliner. So I'm really glad I picked that up. Then I went to the Becca um, counter and I picked up one of their infamous or famous um, luminizer. I got it in the powder. Actually, my plan was to get the holiday set, the one that has the three different um, liquid luminizers in the smaller tube. But those are sold out, so 
I went for this one. So this one is the color is Becca, and the color is in um is the universally flattery one, and the color is um opal. So it's this um light shimmery um champagne gold color. I was debating between this and the gold one, but I decided to pick this one up because this one is more universally flattery. And this is expensive. This is really really expensive. It's like the price of these is the same as the price of these. This is 39. This is 38. I'm like, whoa. Okay, but I picked it up anyway because everyone is raving about it. And I thought I might just splurge on the luminizer, which I like. So that was it. I also picked up something which I know that um, everyone is crazy about. It's the... Um, Sephora color of the year, which is the Sephora plus Pantone Universe um, color of the year um, chick trio, which is the Masala or Masala chick trio. And this one was the second last one they had on display. I think it's probably all sold out now. I'm happy that I grabbed it before it sold out. And it's the one that comes with the three colors. And um. I don't know how to open this. This is really hard. But it comes in this like gold kind of um packaging. It comes it's really nice. This, like um champagne gold color, and the bag is white with the colors. So it comes like that. You probably seen it like many many times. So it comes with masala, masala, um coral pink, and this one is called shimmering um villa, which is the luminizer. So I heard really good reviews about this, that's why I decided to pick this one up and it was sold out the second day when I went to the shopping mall and I went to the JC Bank. So I, I guess it, like everybody is grabbing for it and this one is like um $28 for like 3 products which I thought was actually a pretty good deal. Then I picked up one of the Sephora Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color in um, Petal Luster. This is the color. Petal Luster. So just um neutral pinky shade that I don't know is probably universally flattering as well. So it's this color which I think is probably very suitable for work and stuff. So pick that one up. I also okay I picked up a lot of lip products. I like lip products are like my favorite um things like makeup things in the world because I use them every day when I go to work so I thought it's justifiable that I buy more of stuff. So I picked up uh, one of these um holiday bite um mini lip glosses and this one is the Lush Fruit Lip Gloss and this colour is in guava which is like a berry raspberry berry kind of shade. I thought this would be quite nice for work as well. So, and then I picked up one of the Buxom's most um, popular lip colors or lip gloss in most popular lip gloss and this one is in the color, it's a full on lip cream and this is the color White Russian. So, just a neutral, you know, lip cream, neutral shade lip cream. So, yeah, a lot, a lot of lip products. And then I also picked up one of the Lancome Lip Lover in the color Beige Adesh. So um, I've been looking for this color for quite some time. I can't, it can't be found in Singapore. I don't know why Singapore don't carry it. So when I went to the US, I, def I this was one of the main products that I actually searched for because I like I I love the lip the Lancome Lip Lovers. They are like my favorite lip gloss formula in the world so i know i definitely want to try more i have one lip lover in another shade which i cannot remember but this was the shade that i actually wanted a long time and this one is just a beigey neutral rosy shade so and these are super cool because they come in like a, you just clip open until when it pops up so that is the them home lip lover and I also went to MAC but I only pick up one MAC lipstick and this one is in um, Speak Louder 
this lipstick. It's called Speak Louder. Now this was an impulse buy that I bought at a duty free shop. I don't know why I picked this one. I should, I should, seriously, I should have picked up the Mac One Two Nine blush brush because it was only twenty six dollar ninety cents at a duty free. I didn't know why I didn't pick that one up. But I picked this one up instead. I think it's probably because it was in the morning and I don't know what the what I'm doing. So I have no idea why I picked up a lipstick instead of that blush brush which I so love and mine is for sort of like been with me for a very long time. Absolutely no idea. So um this one was totally an impulse buy and it's this um colour. I thought it's quite like one of the colours from the one of the limited edition um MAC. Um, collections which I wanted so I just decided to pick one up but it was totally a mouse buy I'm not sure why I bought it but I got it anyway and the last product is one that I am so in love with and it's the Elizabeth and James Nevada perfume which everyone raves about and I can see why um, it has the black version but I bought the white version Not, I'm not very thrilled with the black version because I thought that one they smell really good but the white one smells um, super nice it's called the Margot it's, the smell is um, I don't know how to pronounce this word Margot Peony Mask so um, I can't describe scents for I can't describe scents for whatever reason but I just really really love the scent of this one is so special. It doesn't. It's like I don't know. It's not like a really feminine scent. It's like like if you are. Uh, it's sort of like a scent for if you are like a powerful gay corporate woman up in the, you know the hierarchy in your company. It's like if you are a CEO of a huge company, you could probably wear this scent. It just gives me the vibe of someone who is way up there. In um, in a corporate world, like a lady way up there in the corporate world, will wear this set. So this is a very, I don't know, it's like a very masculine, not really masculine, but like a very powerful woman scent. And it's just different. It's not like your, you know, like your floral kind of scent, which is like and very sweet smell. It just just is It just smells really powerful and really nice. So I picked that up in a roller ball. I'm. So so annoyed that Singapore don't carry roller balls because they totally should. These are so easy to apply, so much easier to apply than the spray on type, and they are cheaper than the spray on um, fragrances, which I don't really like. But the roll ons, they are so easy to apply. You just roll it on your wrist, roll it on wherever you want, and you can bring them out on the go because they are so light. And these are cheaper than the big bottles. This one cost me like $22 and it's 10 mils. And I know that I don't told and I and I know this can probably last me a long time because I don't use like perfumes every day. I only use it like once in a while. Probably like a couple of maybe twice a week or something. So this is gonna last me a long time. And I'm really glad that um I bought this over the spray on bottle because I think this is cheaper, more user friendly, and I don't know why Singapore doesn't carry them. They totally should because I would totally like buy. I rather buy. What I'm trying to say is that I will definitely buy more roller balls than spray on um, perfume. So that so these are all my um Sephora items that I bought. It's not a lot, but not little as well but i hope you enjoyed this and um and try to tell me whether if you have used any of them just let me know whether you like them and why you like them kind of stuff so thank you all for watching and i hope to see you this later